Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Wanted to go over today for you guys that are still using iManifold and utility programs, how to configure your iManifold. And if you're still using an iManifold, this video will work for you too. Uh, but it's just a, a little configuration. Now, we do not fully support the iManifold yet, specifically uh, the wireless probe mapping on the Zigbee's probes on there. So you're going to have to set up initially in the iManifold your Zigbee probe mapping. And then once you set it up once, it will stay that way forever, unless uh, you press and hold down on this wireless button on here, which if you press it long enough, will put you in a, in a force pairing mode. In other words, it'll, it'll take this probe out of its configuration with the iManifold, and then you'll have to go back into the, the iManifold app to clear it, to put it back in again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, record the screen here just so we can do a screen capture here, and uh, we'll get that running. And I'm in the iManifold application right now, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, gear on here, and it's going to pull up the wireless probes. Now, to pair in the wireless probes, one of the things you have to understand is, um, again, we don't support full mapping on here, so however you used to have them mapped may not work. So we're going to we're going to hit the the um, put them all in the pairing mode, and to do that, all you do is just press and hold this wireless button. Why don't you come in here for a minute, just so we can see that double flashing? And as long as you can see it double flashing here, flash, flash, that means it's in pairing mode. If it, and to put it in pairing mode, you just press and hold down the Wi-Fi wi button until it goes into that. If it's continually flashing, it's already uh, added. So I'm gonna hit the plus add. So the first probe I'm gonna add in here is my return air probe. So I'm gonna hit plus add, and it's saying it's looking for wireless probes. It's gonna, I need to tap the wireless button here once to tell it that I wanna pair it. It's gonna say add more. I hit add more button. You'll notice right away, this is now doing a continual flashing, showing that it's completely paired in. So I'm gonna grab the next probe here, verify it's going flash, flash, it is. I'm gonna hit the wireless probe button once. It's gonna tell me in a second here that it's uh, added it to the network. And if it doesn't, you can just uh, press and hold it till it goes flash, flash again. That'll force it out of the network, and we'll just hit plus add again, and I'll say looking for probes, and then we'll get it paired in. So we're going to hit add more, and we'll just hit this again. And now I got all three probes in and done. So the, the first probe I have in is my return air probe, the second probe is my supplier probe, and then I can add in my manometer. Now, um, after I'm all done there, I'm just gonna go back into the iManifold app and I'm gonna disconnect and we'll be good to go there. So now I can close this application up and if I ever need it again, I just open it up and use it for the pairing. But if you don't hit that button, you won't have to do this again. It's just a one and done thing. So now that I have this done here, um, what I'm gonna do is go into my toolbox and I'm gonna uh, disconnect it, just bump the blue flame button here so we gotta let that time out. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe out the iManifold altogether just like I've never had it paired in here before so you can see how we get that in. So as soon as this timeout's done for the blue flame here, we'll go ahead and grab that. And I'll swipe this to the, swipe this. Let's see here if I can swipe it, come on. Yeah, we'll try and, uh, it's just not responding. There you go. Okay, so now I can swipe it and it'll delete. So I'm gonna hit delete and this is this is gone. So now if I didn't have it in at all, the way that I would add this, to hit the plus add button, select iManifold, it's gonna go out and scan for it. And once it sees it, then it's an A20333. I just verify that that's in fact the model number, which it is, AO23233 on the back. Hit save, hit the back button, and now I can connect to it. Now, when you connect to it, Right next to it, you're gonna see is a little question mark. If you tap on that question mark, it's gonna tell you on the iManifold M, the suction line, liquid line, and discharge line, and that's these buttons, these ports here, T4, T3, T2, T1, uh, need to be mapped. So T1 suction, T2 is liquid, T3 is discharge, T4 is outdoor air, discharge optional, I don't have it hooked up right now. But these need to be configured that way. That's the only way they're gonna work on there. So you, once you get those ports set up, they're good to go on there, I can hit dismiss. So now if I go to my home on here, you'll see that I do have return air, wet bulbs and dry bulbs coming in. If I tap on my indoor measurements, I can see those are coming from the iManifold. 
I'll close that up. I'll go to my in outdoor measurements and I can see my low pressure, high pressure, suction line, liquid line, and my outdoor air coming in from my eye manifold. So I, all those are configured correctly. So now everything's configured correctly. All I need to do is deploy my probes, make my measurements, and that data will all come in. Now, one thing that you can do with this, and I, I think is well, worth talking about, is these probes here, obviously, uh, these are your suction line and liquid line. These things get really quite long and lengthy on here. And you can actually eliminate these completely if you want to get these out of your network. And what you can do is you can take a couple of these, these Testo probes, and I'll just turn these two guys on here. And I'm going to pair those into my MeasureQuick app. They may already be in here. Uh, these are not, so let me go back here. I'm just going to hit the plus add. Testo smart probes, you'll see. We got two smart probes coming in, 115 eyes. I hit the back key, and then I'm going to go into my probe manager, and I'm going to map those 115s to uh, here to my suction line temperature, and then my other one to my liquid line temperature. And then I'll hit the back key and hit home. And now if I look at my outdoor measurements, you'll see that I've got my low and high pressure coming off the eye manifold, but my suction and liquid line temperature are coming off the Testo probes. The wireless probes for Testo are about 67 bucks, and that eliminates all the cord hassle. It's a really good way to go with this. You could also use a Testo hydrometer if you wanted for outdoor air, but this is pretty convenient the way they have this set up here. But if you want to go wireless, that is an option. I'd recommend it just to get rid of the corded uh, elements of the eye manifold. So that's pretty much all there is to it to get your stuff connected. If you have any questions or comments, leave them at the end of the video, but um, it's pretty straightforward. Just make sure when you're powering these probes off, that you press and hold the power button to shut them off and don't press and hold the wireless key or you will screw it up. You may even want to put a small piece of tape across this wireless key just so you can feel it with your finger and you don't accidentally shut it off there. It might make it a little bit easier. But otherwise, this is a pretty straightforward process and you can use this. Uh, it's, it actually is really good hardware. So, you know, if you've got it, don't hesitate to use it. Um, but, you know, I'd, I would recommend you take a look at the wireless aspects just because it makes it easier and for 67 bucks a point, uh, it's all worth the convenience of it. This is Jim with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.